as this block has been machined along the main bearings basically these have all been opened out slightly down here so as that happened swarf from the machining would have gone down these holes here which are the oil feeds for the main bearings now the way that these are fed there's a machining slot runs down here into an oil gallery there's one plug for the end of the oil gallery on there another plug on the other end of it there there's an access point on it just there as well so to clean this gallery out properly I'm going to have to remove this plug here and the plug at the other end in addition to doing that there is an oil feed here which you can see for the bearing for the intermediate shaft now that bearing is basically drilled through down to here and there you can see that slot there and there's another hole you can see just on the opposite side down there as well now that second hole goes straight across underneath there and comes out just here on this plug so that goes straight through as well so given how the machining's been done there's a good chance that swarf could get into there so i'll have to clean that out so that one will also be removed on this other block i've got here you can see what they they look like when they're not fitted i'll just turn it around so you can see it better so there's one there so you can see straight through to the other end so i'll be able to knock that plug out there and also on the galley through there you can see that one when it's removed so these ones will be just knocked out rotated and pulled out on the ends and on this one i'm going to drill and tap it and then heat the area up and then try to pull it out there are a couple of others which are in the oilways as well there's a small one here and another of the aluminium plugs there but with these ones it's a little bit different because i can basically get good visibility round to the back of them just through this hole here and with this one through this slot here so so long as i can see clearly what's going on behind them and get in to clean them out i might not remove those and also they're a lot further away from where the machining took place but i shall reserve judgment on that until i've got them out and and had a look again on this block you can see with them removed these are basically just for machining holes this form for the um, oil pressure relief from the pump and this other small one just goes through not quite sure where that one goes through what that one's for but i'll um i'll investigate when i've got the others out so i'll get um a, a hammer and i'm just going to try and knock around the edge of this just to spin it round. First one out. I'll now turn the block over to do the one on the other side. I'm now ready to remove this plug here. So I'm going to drill it and tap it at five millimeters and then attempt to pull it out. So to do that, I'm going to mark it with a centre punch first, then I'll drill it out at 3mm just to get a hole to start with, then out to 4.2 which is the tapping size and then I shall tap it. I've put some cloth in here, some tissue with some oil on it just to try and catch as much as I can of the debris that comes out as I want to keep as little in the engine as I possibly can, there's less to remove later. Mark the centre of this. <clears throat> Just put a little bit of oil on it. 
Ideally this would be done on a drill press but I don't have one large enough to do this so I'm just going to have to do it by eye. Okay, let's go nice and straight. Let's clear the, the hole out. I shall open it up to 4.2. Make sure there's plenty of oil on the tap. I usually use thicker oil, but I have to have some oil. I've been using something else, so I'm just using that. So it's all going to be cleaned out anyway. So it's backwards and forwards movement with the tap. There's no worries about going too deep with this. This hole just goes straight through. Feels like it's now cutting straight through. So I'll move the tap. And then to remove the plug, I'm going to use this rod. There's a couple of ways I can do it with this. I can either put a socket around it and use this to basically pull it out to lever against the socket or I could convert it into a sort of slide hammer and then hammer it out by having a weight on there and smashing it against there. So I won't be doing anything with it right now because before I do either of those I'm going to make sure that it's heated up around that area because there's probably some Loctite on there holding it in. So I want to free the Loctite first and then I'll pull it out. I've set this weight up on here as a slide hammer. So once this is heated up, I'll be able to lift this up, push it against the top to basically hammer, hammer it out. This weight is off a much, much bigger slide hammer, so I'm having to use some washers to get the size down. Because this is only an M5 thread and aluminium, I'm not going to be whacking it really hard, so I'll be taking it quite easy. But before I do that, I'm going to heat up this area. This will be Loctited in, so I'm going to heat this up to at least 150 degrees C. I'll be checking that with a thermometer here, so you can see at the moment it's 7 degrees C. So I'm just going to warm that up with a blowtorch and then attack it with a slide hammer. There we go. As you can see, that's now cleanly pulled out of the hole. So that's the size of the actual plug itself. So there's um, there's another one of these around the other side of the block, so I shall get that removed as well.
Now in terms of the debris that was found behind them, um, now bearing in mind that we're machining near the main bearings here, the main oil gallery here, this was clear, There's, there is some debris in it now but that's from drilling the aluminium plug out that I've drilled out. When I first took the core plug out it was clean, as was the one on the other end of the gallery. However there are two here on the engine which I removed, which basically go to dead ends in this configuration. They're obviously used when it's used as an air-cooled engine. And if you look inside this one here, yeah, focus, you'll see there are a lot of metal particles in there. And there's, there's a ledge on the inside there, which you can see. So the material had fallen down behind there and there was no sensible way to flush that out. So all of that was sat inside there from the machining process. And also on this plug just here, this one here, if you look closely on here, you'll see a metal shaving on there. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. So that is also from the machining process. So I'm very glad I've taken those all out. Obviously on the aluminium ones I've done, there's a lot more from where I've drilled them out now. So that the only one I haven't removed is this one just here. The end of the engine, see if we can focus on that. And the reason I'm not removing that one is because it, it basically just goes goes to a dead end. There's nothing behind it. I've looked on my my other block, um, which I have here, which doesn't have that plug in place. It's this one down here. And as you can see, it just goes to a blind hole. So there's there's no point. I could remove it just on the basis there's no point having one there, but I'll leave it as it is. So that's the process for removing the core plugs. I can now get the block thoroughly cleaned up and ready for reassembly.